Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a page template in Zara with a dynamic page length. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got. Uh, and to begin with, uh, the document I have open in front of me in, uh, in Zara Designer Pro uh, is um, a dynamic page um, tweak or document. Uh, and you can apply this to any page pretty much. And I'm going to show you how to apply this to uh, a page template. Um, Okay, so my other document that I have open here, this is actually um, uh, a template, a website template from Zara. Uh, it's just the one page that I've just opened up, and I've actually uploaded this uh, into the CMS. And if I go to the web browser and just have a look at the home page here, this is it live on the website. So what we're looking at here on the on the website through the CMS is uh, a static page as is it of Zara. So this is all static content um, straight from Zara. Okay, so let me go back to our page template in Zara. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, get rid of the static content. And we're going to re replace it with a placeholder. Um, and we're going to this placeholder will, will allow us to display the dynamic content on the page first of all. So uh, I'm just going to right click on this, I just create a straightforward green rectangle, uh, right click on it, click web properties, go to placeholder and in HTML code body and um, put in our special page content um, tag that the CMS uses, click OK, click OK. Um, now if I Let's upload this now. So I'm going to publish this again. This will take a couple of seconds to upload. Okay, three. Come on, 100% complete. Okay, so let's go back to our browser now. I'm just going to refresh this page. Um, and what we're looking at now is uh, this content is actually um, dynamic content um, coming from uh, within the CMS there, and it's actually um, breaking out the page. Okay, so just to show you, if I go into the uh, admin area here and modify our home page category, just click modify on that. I've actually got some alarming of some text in here as well, so I'm just going to uh, cut that away and put in test and um, save that. I'll go back and refresh it and you can see that this is actually the dynamic content. Uh, I'll go back now, put back in that Laram Ipsum and what I've got here is I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight paragraphs text and um, save that. Go back and refresh our page and you can see it's only shown as one, two, three, four uh, and a bit of the fifth paragraph and that's actually as much as it's shown within the page and that's because again uh, in Zara that's a static page uh, and so anything in the dynamic content area that, that goes beyond the page length it's just gonna get cut off and you won't be able to see it so what we want to do is we want to make this into a dynamic page uh, and we want the, um, the footer area down here we want this to move down the page and we want the actual um, page background to um, extend down as well and, and obviously have all the space for our, our text that, um, that's coming through the CMS. Okay, so to do that, um, we're going to go back to our dynamic page tweak um, that we have open here. And well, this actually has all the instructions that we need to apply to our page template. But we're going to go through it step by step. And the first thing we should uh, concern ourselves with is the actual footer. So instructions here tell you what to do with the footer. Basically, all the elements um, for the footer need to be on the one layer. If we look over here on the right, you can see this is the footer layer here, uh, and each of these things, all these things here, they're all on the footer layer. So let's go back to our page template, and let's cut what we have here. This is actually all on the mouse off layer. Um, but before we do that, let's create our new layer. So click new layer, call it footer. Oops, footer. Uh, and just move that footer layer down above the mouse off layer 
um, and we're going to cut what we have here control X and I'm going to make sure we have got our footer layer selected and just press control shift and V to paste it in place and we now have that on our footer layer and the other thing we need to do in regards to the footer is it just says it here um, a footer background object in this case the, the grey rectangle must exist that is the overall height of your footer and it must be assigned the name footer background okay so let's go back to our page template and this here is pretty much our footer background so I'm going to give that the name uh, as I said footer background and it's a capital B so just be careful with the case um, it has to be exactly uh, an exact match click add and close that okay so that's pretty much our footer layer done now we're using this here as our footer background um, if we wanted to make our footer if we wanted more space between our dynamic content and our footer we could um, increase the size of this but instead of say actually stretching it um, well it's all grouped but what we could do is say um, create like a, a white rectangle here um, let me just make it that color if we wanted to make it like increase the space uh, between the footer and the content we could make it we could make a, a rectangle here uh, group it to the to the uh, rest of the footer background um, obviously change the white in this case and then name all that footer background instead and that would just give us a, a kind of a more kind of white space down the bottom of our page okay so but we'll leave it at the moment just delete that and we'll leave it as is so the other thing now we need to do if we go back to our um, dynamic page again um, we need to copy these two placeholders here so let's press control C on them to copy them go back to our page and press control V I'm um, not worried about the colors so just click don't match and when you paste these in if we look over at the layers here they should come in on the proper layers footer end footer start uh, and the first thing we should do is rearrange these layers so I'm just going to turn off OK here uh, I'm going to move footer start down beneath footer and footer end should be above footer so the two of them start and end should surround footer in that order okay and that layer order is, is important okay again if you go back to this it gives you the actual um, screenshot and instructions as to how it should be um, so let's go back to our page template again and these actually do have to be on the page so just make sure that they're somewhat overlapping your page and um, otherwise they could be omitted um, when exported so that's that's why you need to have them on the page um, so I'm just gonna just move them down close to the footer because you know that's what they represent and um, you can uh, uh, hide these and they'll still export I, I think um, not definite but I think once there's an exclamation mark on the layer it will actually um, export no matter whether it's hidden or not but I'm not 100% certain on that I think that's the case okay now so with all of that done let's publish this again uh, up to our live website and we'll see now what has happened okay okay so that's, that's uploaded um, let's go back to our live website I'm just going to press refresh on the home page uh, and we can see now that the actual page has extended and it now has all our paragraphs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, um, 7 and 8 all our, all our text is there and our footer has moved down the page and you can see the white space between the footer and the, um, the text here as I said you can increase that by just making your footer um, bigger by say put grouping a white rectangle onto a hair, uh, just increasing the background footer image basically, um, to give you more white space, uh, and that's pretty much that's pretty much it.
done and dusted. If I go back in now and just edit the content in here, say I, say I delete all that and just try it in test, um, save it, go back and refresh it, um, the page is, has dynamically shortened to pretty much what it is out of Zara. Uh, the footer has come up and if I go back and um, oops, put in Okay, let me go back to zero. I'm just gonna copy this text over here for a quick example. So let's paste this in. A, a, actually, that's a is that a bad idea? No, oh, that's okay. You have to be careful that it's not putting in any special Zara tags and stuff like that. But that's fine. So let's let's paste this in a ton of times. Right for a massive page. Okay, there's a ton of paragraphs there now. Save that. Go back and refresh our home page again. And you can see now we've got a really long page, lots and lots of text has extended, and our footer has moved down the page. Okay, so just a quick recap now on how to do that, just uh, really quickly. So um, you have your page content uh, placeholder here on your page. You create a footer layer. You make sure that all your footer content is on that layer. Okay, you make sure the background of your footer has the name footer background. Okay, and you copy and paste these two placeholders, select them, copy them, paste them into your page template, and um, just move them down. Make sure they're actually on or overlapping your actual page. And then once you've done all that, just make sure your um, your uh, order of layers is correct so you have your mouse off layer then you would have your footer start then the footer and then the footer end and then once you do that upload it and you have yourself a dynamic page